how to add picture to a video online. Maybe you're making a YouTube video and you want to add some pictures on screen to help explain your subject. Or maybe you want to add your logo over a video clip for Instagram. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add an image to your video and don't worry, it's really easy. I'll be going through this step by step, starting with the editing software and how to import your files, how to edit your images on top of your video, how to resize your video for different social media platforms, and how to export the final product. So first things first, I'm gonna check that all of my files are ready to go, and they're right here on my desktop. And now I'm gonna head over to veed.io. Veed is an easy to use online video editing software based entirely within your internet browser. On the Veed homepage, I'm gonna click upload your video and then upload a file. And I'm gonna select my video clip first and hit open. Veed will now import my clip, which can take up to a few minutes depending on the size of the file and of course your internet connection. When it's done, you'll see the clip sitting down there in the video timeline. So let's hit play and see what we're working with. How to add picture to your video. Okay, so I'm now ready to add my pictures on top of that video. Over on the left hand side, I'm gonna click upload and then upload image. And when the window opens, I'm gonna select my first PNG file and hit open. And once it's uploaded, you'll see that Veed has automatically added the image on top of my video. And now I'm ready to make some edits. I can now easily click and drag the image around the video canvas to place it wherever I want, in the top corner, in the bottom corner. So I'm gonna put it just over here. I can also resize the image very easily by selecting it and then just clicking and dragging the corners and I can make them as small or as big as I want. So I'm gonna make mine about that size and then I can click and drag it to wherever I want to in the frame like that. Using that same clicking and dragging technique, I can also select the image and rotate it onto an axis like this and I can have it at any angle that I want within the frame. Next, I'm gonna adjust the timings for when the image appears on screen. So for this example, I want the image to appear when I lift my finger up and say the word picture. And to do that, I'm just gonna move the playhead to where that moment is, about there. And then I'm gonna select my image on the timeline and go up to the edit image window and hit that stopwatch there. And that automatically changes the time that the clip starts to where the playhead is sitting. You can also do that for the end of the clip, just on the other side there with this stopwatch. You can also manually enter a start time and an end time if that's easy for you, just by typing into that same box. And to make any smaller adjustments to the timings of the image, I'm just gonna select it in the timeline and then click and drag like this. So I can make it appear earlier like that, or I can make it appear later like that. And I could do exactly the same with the end of the clip as well, just click and drag like that to change the timings. You can add as many images as you want on top of your video clip. So I'm gonna add my second one now just by following those exact same steps. So I'm gonna go back over to upload, select upload image, and when the window opens, I'm gonna select my second image like so and hit open. I'm just gonna place this image on the opposite side of frame, do the same resizing like so and lift it up like that in the frame and because my playhead was sitting in line with the start of the first image when i imported my second image it just copied the exact same timings if you make a mistake or you want to swap out one image with another don't worry you don't need to start your edit all over again you can just select the image that you want to change in the timeline then go up to the edit image window and select replace image and from there, you can just pick your replacement, select it, hit open, and Veed even copies the exact same shape and adjustments that you made to the clip that you replaced. So now if I drag my playhead to the start of the timeline and hit play, we'll see what we've ended up with. How to add picture to your video. One final thing to mention is that you can also go up here to settings and change the size of your video here. So I can hit this drop down menu and you can have the original size of the video that we started with. You can have a square size for Instagram. You can have the perfect size for YouTube. And you can even have an Instagram story shape here. And by selecting that, it automatically resizes my video like so. And then I just need to make some adjustments with that clicking and dragging to make it fill the frame. And the same with those images. I can have one down here. 
and the other over there. And I could just resize them how I want to, like so. And then you have a video ready for your Instagram story. When you're finished editing, head over to the top right hand corner of the screen and hit export and then export video and Veed will now render your final file. When it's finished, you can just review it one more time to make sure everything's looking good. If you're happy, you can hit download MP4 and Veed will download your final video to your computer. So that's it. That's how to add images to your video online. Let me know down in the comments below what you're gonna be making with this new skill. On this channel, we cover all things to do with video content creation. So if you want some more easy to follow editing tutorials just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.